The S650 Mustang, the seventh generation Mustang. There's a lot of information out there. Just tiny little pieces of information. We're gonna try to take all those tiny pieces of information and put them together, sort of like pieces of a puzzle, to get a better picture of what it may look like, what it may be powered by, and what the interior's like. On this episode of Tony's Fords and Mustangs, I'm also gonna take a stab at what I think you're gonna see, at least for the first couple years. So bookmark this one. You can come back and tell me how wrong I was in the future. At first, it was widely reported that this would be built in 2022 for a 2023 release. That's looking less and less likely, with multiple outlets reporting the, the model change won't be built until 2023, and the car would debut as a 2024 model. This detail was recently confirmed by Ford's vehicle director for icons and Ford performance, Ali Jamal. This would make sense, as Ford and every auto manufacturer on the planet cannot build enough vehicles to meet demand in current market conditions. This is due to part shortages. There's no reason now to stoke demand for a product you can't deliver. What will the new car look like? Well, we've seen leaked photos and various camouflage, and last week for the first time we got some front-end views. First from Ford Authority, and then shortly afterwards from our friends over at Steeda. At first glance, they look very similar, but if you take a close look at the grille section, you'll see subtle differences. Let's go over the differences. The first image is being reported as a standard, or the lower end, and the second as the GT version. There's major differences in the grille openings and lower fascia, with the GT showing familiar vertical blades. Let's go over the similarities. The floating pony badge is exactly where you expect to see it. It's dead center of the grill. The headlamps appear to be thinner and look to be multiple LED style. When you take a look at the camouflage photos, a lot of this looks like a car that's not all that different from the S550. It's not a radical departure. It's safe to assume that this is more of a mild refresh of the S550. It will look different, but nowhere near the jump we saw, say, from the S197 to the current S550. What will it be powered by? Some have reported that we'll be seeing an all-wheel drive hybrid S650. Automotive News reported that Ford may debut a hybrid version of the Mustang by 2025, and a Ford product development engineer updated his LinkedIn profile, noting work on a 2.3 liter inline four and 5.0 liter V8 hybrids. While hybrid options may be necessary for efficiency and the all wheel drive Mustang could even be the hybrid Mustang if Ford decides to include electronic propulsion in the front axle, I wouldn't count on that just yet. At least not for the first couple of years of production. Maybe by 2025, but certainly not out of the gate. Ford's internal combustion engine division is going to need a flagship and the Mustang's gonna fill that role at least for the first couple of years. I expect expect to see the 2.3 liter EcoBoost inline four and the five liter V8 and GT trim both made it to a 10 speed automatic and a six speed manual transmission we see today, at least for the first couple years. What will the interior look like? Ford Authority has also released a photo of a flat bottom steering wheel. This would be similar to what we already see in the Shelby GT500, so I don't consider that one to be really newsworthy. However, if you look closely at the photo, the LCD that handles heating controls and audio in a new spot. It's above the heating and cooling vents. Those vents are no longer round, but more rectangular. Also, the main LCD that houses the speedometer and tack appears to be much larger than the current model, as are the controls on the steering wheel itself. There also appears to be fewer physical controls, leading one to believe that more will be handled through the LCD itself. This isn't something I'm a huge fan of, but it is a trend in the industry. I want you to take a look at the Ford Mondeo Dash from China that Ford released China only. And look at the size of that LCD real estate. Located beneath the center vents, we clearly see a start button, traction control, hazard lights, max defrost, one with a pony on it, and a volume knob for the radio. There's also two USB ports, a standard USB and a USB-C. One would have to assume from this photo, there's also a charging dock for a phone down there. Back is the just awful location for the cup holders that appears to be returning this isn't a big deal for those that drive automatics but anyone that has a six speed will tell you they've been waiting for a new location for cup holders since the 90s if you are a fan of the s550 good news you have a 2022 and i think a 2023 version to pick from i would imagine there's going to be a few special editions in 2023 as well once i get an order guide i'll be posting a video on those for those of you still looking for a 2022, I put together a video with all the information I could find, all the special editions, all the colors. I'm going to put that on my right so you can check that out now. Until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you.